Boyn is Ducks here playing Hexels. In this playthrough, we're going to go through all of World 1. We're going to start with 1 1. Remove orange hexes to reveal the pattern underneath. The number in an empty hex tells you how many adjacent hexes are part of the pattern. Left click to mark a hex as part of the pattern. Right click to destroy hexes that aren't part of the pattern. So we have six here, and so we know that there's going to be six total around here <clears throat> that are going to be part of the pattern. So we can left click make all those blue. On the other hand over here with a zero we know that none of these will be marked as blue so we can right click to destroy those. And there's only one next to this and there's only one left so I know we can mark that one as blue. Alright 1-2. Alright so we'll start over on the left side we have a one here so we know we can mark that as one. For this two, there's only two next to it, so we can mark both of those as blue. For this two, it's the same thing. And the same thing goes for this side, we can mark all those as blue. Now for our five, we have one, two, three, four, five. That means this one will not be blue and we can eliminate it. For this three, we have one, two, three. All right, over onto the right side, for this two, there's only two next to it, so we'll mark both of those as blue. Same for this two, and same for this two, and that one, and that one. All right, so for this two, we already have our two blues, so we know this one won't be blue, so we can eliminate that. All right, moving on to one dash three. So whenever you see the zeros, those are always kind of the funnest because you can just kind of tear through and eliminate things around it because there's just gonna be no, nothing that you can select around it. All right, so for this two, we have our two now. We can eliminate those. And for this one, we have our one, so we can eliminate that. And now we can solve for this two. There's only two next to it. This two has its two blues, so we can eliminate that one. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. I'm going to start tearing through some of the easier ones. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so for this one, I'm going to start with the four here. There's only four around it, so we know we can mark all those as blue. Okay, so for this two, it could be this one or this one, so we can't solve for that quite yet. For this two over here, there's only two next to it, so we'll go ahead and mark those as blue. If you ever get stuck in one part of the puzzle, don't feel afraid to hop over to another section. Sometimes you have to kind of go back and forth before you can completely solve a puzzle. <clears throat> Alright, so now we can solve for this two. We have one, two. Have our two there. All right, so this is something that, as I as I played through initially, it was kind of confusing to me. Is sometimes to solve some things, you have to go outside the puzzle and look at how many you have remaining. So none of these numbers here will tell you how to solve for this. The only thing that will help you solve for this is the amount remaining. So there's two left, so we know we can mark both those as blue. So if you're ever really stuck. Try to pull yourself out of the puzzle and look up at the amount remaining. All right. We have three here. There's only three around it. We'll go ahead and mark that. Four, there's only four around it. We'll go ahead and mark that. We now have our two for that too. There's only three around this three, so we can mark all those as blue. We now have only three around this three. We'll go ahead and mark that. And the, now the four, there's only four around it. We'll mark that one. This three, there's only one more left for that. We'll mark that off. <clears throat> and over here at this four, there's only four around it. We'll go ahead and mark all those. 
For this three, we have one, two, three. For this two, we have our two. We can eliminate that one. Now we can solve for our one there. We now have our three around our three. And we can solve for that puzzle now. All right, this is the last puzzle of world one. We can look for our zeros first. Go ahead and eliminate those. For this two, there's only two around it. We'll mark those two. And again, here's one of those other ones that we'll need to look at the amount remaining to solve eventually. at this two, there's only two around it, we'll mark those off. Alright, so there's only one more remaining, so we know we can mark this one as blue. And that's how you get through the puzzles of World 1 and Hexels. Thank you all for watching, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it.